Ja. Greetings. Once again, this is Minister, Minister Kev of the body of Christ, saying grace, mercy, peace, blessings, love, and power from God our Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father. Now, you're looking right there, Squid Games is everywhere. Oh, it's so popular. I sat down to enjoy, but it's way too violent. We don't need all that violence in the world today. It's too much going on. You hear about the mass shoes. Now, the comedy skits was funny, you know, as you can see right there. Some of the comedy skits was good. What's going on on YouTube? People talking about it. Had to see for myself, man, I had to cut it off. It's way too violent, man. We're living in the days like it was in the days of Noah, you see. It's very violent times. Like I said, you had that shooting going on in Texas. You know, the young man had a gun. I guess he had to defend himself. He's out now. But nevertheless, these young people caught up with keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with the trends, the TikTok. You know, trying to be cool, trying to be thuggish. Works. What you doing with a gun? In school. You know, he shouldn't have been jumped on. You could have sprayed him with mace or something. Or use your hands, man. Hands up, gloves glove, uh, gloves up. Uh, 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 guns down, gloves up. You know, like the old school. Now, all this squid game stuff, it's like we're living in the big squid game. With all the Illuminati symbolism going on, man. You know, with all of this persecution against the unvaccinated and the violence. Man, I even heard they was uh, 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 riding over this here squid game, you know, in Paris. Everybody's all mesmerized, man. As you can see, it have all kind of Illuminati symbolism. And once again, as you see on the screen there, TikTok, that come out of China. Now they got this trend with these young people. Once again, spare not to rob when it comes to these children. Start telling these children the truth. Don't spoil them. They feel they need to keep up with the latest trends. Now you got this slap a teacher trend. TikTok out of China. You know, Squid Game out of Korea. Man, come on. Korea, man, you, you got to do better, man. I really enjoyed. Look, look at that there. Look at that there. All this violence. So we don't need this violence. I would enjoy the Squid Game, you know. Now, you see all the signs. All the signs. And, 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 and it's in the scripture. My goodness, he said they're going to show shines on the earth. And there's blood, fire, and vapor of smoke. These volcanoes situation. La Palma. Over there in the Canary Islands, I believe off the coast of Africa, but Spain rule it. What is Spain doing ruling it? You know, for the love of money, once again. But these earthquake, uh, not the earthquakes, but the earthquakes and the volcanoes are pretty much connected because before a lot of volcanoes erupt, you have the earthquake situation are connected, and what comes out is brimstone. The Bible call it brimstone. We call it magma. That's what you see right there. That's brimstone. So all this stuff going on. And we don't need no violence stuff put out. My goodness, we got to get focused on the word of God. Let's get into the word of God real quick. Uh, I'm in Psalms 11 chapter. Uh, 11 and 3. It says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? You know, the very foundations, the earth that we walk on. You know, God will set on fire the foundations of the mountains. You know, that's what you're seeing. You're seeing magma. You're seeing brimstone. On top of that, the foundation in your spiritual life is supposed to be Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So what can we do? We can't run to none of these churches. They closed down. They ran scared from COVID. You know, they're lifting up their pastor. They said he was an apostle. He couldn't heal COVID. What can you do if the foundation is not Jesus Christ? And what can you do when the foundations are being shook up around you? Well, you can't fear, amen. For the Lord have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Even in these times of earthquakes, wars, rumors of wars, famines, lack of food, oh, the, uh, the depth ceiling and the crisis and the division in the divided states of America. They can't agree on anything, but we must stand strong. You see the signs, pillars uh, uh, and vapors of smoke, fires. It's all in the Holy Scripture. Once again, let me get back to Psalm 11, 3. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. So all this promotion of violence, like I said, Squid Game, it would have been great, man. I was enjoying it until all that gory, blood, and violence. We don't need that. 
shootings at school. These kids is bringing guns in their backpacks. Man, leave them clicks alone. And don't follow, uh, follow a multitude. Just because everybody else is doing it don't mean you got to do it. You got to stand strong as a leader. Stand for the truth. And Jesus Christ is the truth. Amen. The Lord try after righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence is so hateth. All these TikTok trends, you slapping teachers, and what's coming next? Verse 6, upon the wicked, he shall rain snares. Snares are traps. It's a bunch of traps. Man, your friends, man, you, you being a trap by your friends, you know, because your priorities was in the wrong place. Come on back to the scriptures. Amen. Because there's all kind of traps. There's all kind of delusions. God has sent them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Oh, everybody's getting this and everybody's getting that. Don't mean you got to do it, especially if it's wrong and it's against God. Amen. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone. Now, you know what brimstone is? It's magma. It's what's coming out of all these volcanoes. From La Palma, you have the a volcano in uh, Hawaii, uh, Kilimanjaro, or whatever, however you say it, over there in Hawaii once again. And it looked like an actual lake of fire in the crater. God is showing all these signs for a reason. I've stated it before, and I told you about it. Because the foundations are shook up. Because you forgot the foundation. And that's Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Brimstone is sulfur. You know, and a lot of times when these this lava, which is just brimstone, reaches the sea. In which the La Palma did, it reached the sea. It creates toxic gases. So more trouble. Carbon or, or, or Sulfur, sulfur dioxide is what I'm trying to say. It creates toxic gases. But the word of God, vapors of smoke, was already one step ahead. This is what happens when society is disobedient to God. Climate change, you talk about climate change, why? Because of willful sin. Because of sins like homosexuality when the climate changed. When it was destroyed from fire and brimstone from the Lord out of heaven. Amen. So take heed to the warning and to the word of God. Climate change. Why? Because of willful sin, homosexuality, murder, all of this violence that leads to murder, abortion. People upset because Texas uh, wants to make it harder for you to kill a baby. Man, your priorities is jacked up. You've been listening to these liberals too much. You've been brainwashed by the media. So many individuals are brainwashed. Like I said, it's like one big squid game. People have a love, uh, uh, you know, for their lifestyle. They want to keep it up so they have a love for money. Look, it reached the sea. Volcanic gashes. You know, they have something called volcanic smog that they call VOG. V-O-G, I believe it's called VOG. I never heard of that word. So all of this volcanic smog, uh, smog and, you know, the Bible is true. Upon the wicked shall they rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. So volcanic situations are linked to earthquakes, you know, and all of that stuff have to do what's inside of the earth. Fire and brimstone in the lake of fire is real. It's so real. Amen. And it's in the word of God. Like I said, even from the prophet Joel, he talked about these times. Amen. And Peter quoted Joel. And I'm going to pick up in Acts, the second chapter we've been here before. Let's go here again because it has to be told. Amen. Acts the second chapter 19, and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. You see them vapors, that fog, the volcanic smog, that's really hazardous to your health. Man, you could die by breathing that. So it's being released because the La Palma uh, 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 volcano situation reached the sea. And then you have the Kilimanjaro in Hawaii. You have Mount Etna. You have different volcanoes in Iceland. And we've been here before, my goodness. But God is so merciful, amen. But he continued to show you. Look at the magma. Look at the brimstone like the Bible talk about. The lake of fire is filled with brimstone. Now the devil, the antichrist, all those followers of the beast system, those who have received the mark of the beast, that will be your home in the lake of fire. It's real. Amen. So we told you signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. You know, it's, it, you know a lot of times when a volcano happens that the sun really looks dark because of the volcanic ash. Now, however he darkens it, that's God's business. I don't know if that's the way it's going to be. Amen. But I know one thing. 
I believe the scriptures, and he say, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, whether you're male or female, whether you're black or white, amen. Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. So all these signs that's going on and people being brainwashed, you know, you're too preoccupied with these shows, man. They had a show called Lucifer. Man, you know, the proper name of Satan. That's nothing to glamorize. You know, it's okay to do entertainment. And I tried, but it's just too violent. And we don't need that in violent times. Because God hates the wicked. He's going to rain fire and brimstone down. He did it before. He's going to do it again. Because Babylon, America acting like Babylon, needs to repent. Amen. And be water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent and be converted when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Amen. But they're going backwards. Amen. And we've been here before in the revelations, the 21st chapter. Amen. And I'm going to start at eight. It says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone. There you go. You see brimstone right there. But now there's a lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You can't be fearful. You can't be a coward. Stand up. Man, look here. Separate from your friends and do your own thing. It take a real man. Some of these youngsters act like they'd rather do a, a drive-by than do a, and give a public speech. That's a coward, man. Come on and stand up for truth. Man, they, they uh, just bust it indiscriminately. You know, you hear all these reports and then a the little baby die. You know, it's crazy, man. From, from Oakland to Chicago to, to your small town, to uh, Fort Worth, Texas, wherever, wherever you at, man. It, it's, it's happening everywhere because the Bible has told us that these times would come because the times, these times are times when the love of many have waxed cold. Why? Because iniquity has abounded. All of this weakness, man, from the shows you can't even watch at night. You think, man, you see old guys and, you know, old gals, you think it's going to be a good show, man, but it turned out to be full, filled with sex and violence, you know? But the Bible lets us know, amen, if you're a coward, if you're unbelieving and the abominable, all this homosexuality going on, transgenderism, and ain't nobody saying nothing, man, that's crazy. Man, that makes you a coward. Man, stand up wherever you at. You know, they're trying to force people to get something in their bodies that they didn't want to. They're not even respecting religious exemptions. Man, the time is winding up. You see what's going on, man. It's everywhere. They don't respect your religious exemption. They don't respect the name of Jesus Christ. They don't respect your beliefs. Amen. So the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone is a real situation. Amen. Because it's contained in the Holy Scriptures. And I'm going to go back to Acts the second chapter. Amen. For the sake of time. I'm, no, let me, let me start at 3. Acts 3 uh, and 19. And let's end this real quick. It says, repent ye therefore. So you got to repent. Turn away from. Uh, murder, violence, uh, homosexuality, fornication. Turn away from all that mess. Turn away from being a crowd follower. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Now the only way your sins are going to be blotted out is if you are baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Now remission means the forgiveness of your sins. So that's the only way they're going to be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and he shall send Jesus Christ, whom before was preached among you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. So all his holy prophets spoke of the son of God. Amen. Not about your pastor. Amen. Whom he's trying to deny the son of God and put all the attention on himself. It don't work like that. Amen. So, yes, once again, you know, I just want to say a few things. I haven't said nothing in a while. This is still Minister Kev holding it down, you know. It's, it's uh, very trying times, you know. I make these videos as long as I can, but as you know, they're coming down on folks who want to uh, uh, say no to what they got. You know, Illuminati shot or whatever is going on. You know, I don't want no parts of anything that God is not pleased with, you know. You see the signs, you know, the brimstone, uh, the lava, the magma. All these signs are here for a reason. It's contained in the Holy Scriptures. 
get it right before it's too late. Once again, this is the Minister Kev, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Be blessed.